There is a football coach in California to whom winning is not everything. Coach Roland Ortmeier, University of Laverne, figures that if this football team wins about half the time, that's good enough. ULV is a liberal arts school of a thousand students, about 30 miles east of Los Angeles. Ort's record is 172 wins, 185 losses, and six ties. That's right. Any other school would have fired him 40 years ago. Instead, he has remained head coach for 42 years. And when you ask around campus, the university president will tell you that Ort is a Socrates. A student might even call him godlike. I found former students who consider him more than that. Thurman Belcher played for Ort during the 50s, is now in real estate, and he says just playing for Ort can change your life entirely. Noel Gilbert, a lineman in the mid-50s and a speech instructor today, says, quote, I was so excited to play for Ort that I didn't realize we lost as much as we did. But Ort says that winning should never occur at the expense of having fun. Ort says that winning should never occur at the expense of having fun. Ort works hard, plays hard, and he does both for fun. Before home games, he limes the field himself. He washes the towels and the jocks and the socks and practice in game uniforms. He washes them himself. He thinks a coach should participate in everything from getting ready to cleaning up afterward. I'm not sure that I know exactly why, except the thing that I state is I think anyone that does a task ought to learn how to do it from the beginning to the end. And, and the beginning is important, and the middle is important, and the end is important. And so washing and laying out the jerseys is a part of the, somewhere between the beginning and the end, I guess. I enjoy doing that. I enjoy doing that, yeah. And he invites his students to share his extracurricular enthusiasm. He takes his students with him kayaking and rafting, fly fishing and mountain climbing. Ort is also a devoted husband, father and grandfather. And to his family, personal and academic, he leads by example. Nobody ever heard him swear. Nobody. His team's best player last season, Mike McKernan, says Ort always thinks of his players first. He does not think of football first. Football must never, ever be more important than people. But Ort says that winning should never occur at the expense of having fun. Ort says that winning should never occur at the expense of having fun. Yards from 
Jeff Pascal to Lamont Landers. drifted to what we, we would do, what she would do if she had enough money for the university and for you. And without hesitation, she said, I would build my father a track. <laughs> the University of Laverne has needed a state-of-the-art football field and track for many years. It is important that the track coach and team not have to travel to Mount Sac every day for workouts. It is important that the University of Laverne is able to schedule home track meets on its own campus. But even more important, the completed Ortmeyer football field and track will serve as tangible evidence that the spirit of Ortmeyer will never be erased from the memories of friends, students, and families touched by you at Corning in your 43 years of service for the University of Laverne. I know you deserve this honor, and I hope it pleases you. We love you. The spirit of Laverne is not better epitomized than by this beloved gentleman and his wife, whom we are honoring today. Indeed, many would say that Ord is the spirit of Laverne. Now, we all have remembrances of Ord, treasured memories, some old, some new. I feel a deep sense of honor to represent LBAA and you in this ceremony. What do you think, Portland? <laughs> what my mom saw in my dad? Yeah. Well, first she saw a damn Yankee, and then she saw a cowboy, and then I think she saw the opportunity to be herself with him. And that's pretty special for her to be herself and be acknowledged for that. <laughs> I'll second that. But there's one thing about those two that that I really marvel at is they let each other be each other. You know, they, they, they don't tolerate it. They celebrate each other's differences. We've tried so hard not to have any holes in this place. <laughs> Good job. Please 
And ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you join us in hopefully less than a year to dedicate the new Ord Meal Ord Meal. <laughs> facility we're going to dedicate in about a year. We hope you'll come back and join us because that will indeed be a special day. Oh, yeah. And we'll finally be able to have a, a track meet right here on our own campus and we hope you'll join us for that. Yeah. As I said before, your, your, your role changes a little bit, but you'll all have a special place in our hearts for as long as we live and you'll be a part of this institution. You're a part of the foundation a part of the bricks and mortar and the spirit that is the University of Laverne. Hey, after 40 years, you must be pretty proud of your husband here. He's doing a fine job, isn't he? Yeah, but I thought he was pretty special 45 years ago. How do you feel about being behind the scenes in that role for so many years, seeing seeing all that you've seen throughout the years? Uh, you mean being the wife of Art Meyer? Exactly. Hey, it's been great. Yeah? Yeah. In uh, way. I've enjoyed I've enjoyed everything that he's done, as he's enjoyed everything that I've done. And it's well, all I can say is Laverne is special. And it's a match made in heaven, the Art Myers, huh? Well, I wouldn't know about heaven. It was made in Kingsport, Tennessee, if you really want to know. All right. <laughs> Thanks for that, too. I appreciate that. What one word do you think might sum up what Art Meyer is? I think probably the important thing was he was just a good friend to everybody and he really cared about what happened to his boys. The picture of uh, Ort after his last game at the University of Laverne where uh, they filled the bleachers with the former players and I think the number one reason for that would be Colin Ortmeier and uh, it's amazing. I don't know how you could ever calculate the number of people whose lives he touched. In your opinion, would represent Ort Meyer? Incredible. He's incredible. Uh, I have so much respect for him. How are you enjoying your uh, experience here at Laverne? Oh, I like it a lot. I'm especially enjoying my experience with Ort. He's a great guy. When, uh, when the article in Sports Illustrated came out, I called, I got it on a Thursday, and I called Ort that night. He deserves, he deserves all of this, this attention, and, and, and the people around in athletics deserve to hear what his philosophy is like. Uh, so many people say you must win, only people, only people that are of any value or any worth are the winners. Uh, those things just aren't, aren't true at all. Who would have thought Sports Illustrated would be here doing a story? Certainly not me. Um, and it's a wonderful opportunity for Sports Illustrated. Come on, offense! Come on, man! There are so many dimensions to art. Uh, sure, I look at him primarily as a football coach. But this is a man who is a teacher. This is a man who is a humanitarian. This is a guy who uh, is an outdoors. Uh, this is a guy who is a uh, really a true intellectual. Although if he were sitting here now, he'd say that's not true, but it is true. And when you have that wide range that makes up a man, and the ultimate thing is, I think of the thousands of people that I have interviewed, many of them very forgettable. Let me assure you that I think that Ortmeier 
is the most unforgettable character I've ever met. I think that I will definitely, as the years go by, think back on my experience with him, and it will have benefited me a lot more than it will have benefited Orton. The, the fact that ABC would be here to cover him, I just think that's, I think that's great. I told him that I said, I think, I think that um, to have other people listen to Ortisms, I think is great. But the best thing was to have been there to get him yourself. Yeah, it was a well-told story. He's, that's the man. He's, uh, he's very much his own man. And uh, <clears throat> he's, uh, yeah, he's unusual, maybe unique, <laughs> and certainly a splendid man. years back, I think about five, six years ago, they took a survey at the university. Who's the most indispensable teacher at the university? Who's the person, if we lost them, the university wouldn't be the same? Well, they found that Coach Ortmeyer and Corny were the most indispensable people, according to the alumni, that Laverne College, the University of Laverne, would not be the same if those two people weren't here. They're the glue. They're the people that hold together all the generations. There are people here 10, 20, 30 years ago, they graduated. There are people who haven't graduated. There are youngsters here who don't even know what a university is. But all those people are in this family, this larger family, the Ortmeyer family. Uh, what has uh, Ort meant to the university, in your opinion? What has he meant to the university? I think he's meant a way of life for particularly many young men that have come to this college and that it, they've taken it on into their whole lifestyle through the years. I think if I had to say anything about Ortmar, uh, beyond being my coach and for a while uh, my boss, he was my friend. such a great storyteller that in any given situation he has a story to tell about something that always comes out with a nice little twist in the end that, that teaches people something. So he's always teaching, always telling stories, an informative person, whether it be an experience he had or about the mountains or from the past and then also from people that we know stories about what they did that were funny. Professor of Physical Education and Coach Emeritus to you on your retirement after 43 years of distinguished service to the University of Laverne. Ort, as Ortmeyer is affectionately known, received his Bachelor of Science degree from Northwestern University 
and his Master of Arts degree from Washington State University. He was an outstanding athlete in high school and college and coached at several institutions of higher education before coming to Laverne in 1948. Ort has been the head football coach, track coach, and director of athletics throughout his 43 years at Laverne. In his early years, he also coached basketball and baseball. On a regular basis, he has taught PE activity courses in archery, canoeing, kayaking, climbing and throwing, and theory courses in values and perspective, coaching of football and coaching of track. Thus, with his legendary involvement in repairing equipment, cleaning uniforms, and lining the football field, Ort has had a work schedule comparable to that of three persons on many campuses. And it's true that we're replacing him with at least two full-time people when he leaves this institution. In recent years, Ort has been as busy during the summers as during the academic year. Hundreds of alumni and friends have enjoyed the Montana experience hosted annually by Ort and his wife Cornelia. So many return year after year that the group virtually comprises a semi-official alumni association of the University of Laverne. Ort has received many honors during his career, including national recognition through induction into the NAIA Coaches Hall of Fame, being featured in a major article in Sports Illustrated, and on national television. Above all, however, Ort is known for his unique philosophy of physical education, his rock-solid integrity, his deep concern for each student, and the consistency with which he lives up to his own high ideals. Because of these qualities, combined with his coaching and teaching skills, Ort has probably influenced the lives of more campus students than any other faculty member in our 100-year history. He is not only highly respected by his fellow coaches, but loved and emulated by them. Ort, I have said it before, but I want to say it again. I believe you epitomize the spirit of Laverne. Your values, your concern for others, and your problem-solving model of let's find the solution together are examples of what I believe is special about this university. You and Corny have become a part of the fabric of the heritage of this institution. While your roles will change, your impact on Laverne and its people will live for generations to come. Orton Corny, you are an inspiration to all of us, and we are grateful that 43 years ago, you gave Laverne the nod. We hope that you will display this proudly. When you're in Laverne, in your Laverne home, when you're kayaking, you probably want to take it to Montana, but we hope that you will take pride in this, as much pride as we take in awarding the distinguished title Professor and Coach Emeritus to Roland L. Ortmeyer. Exciting thing that is showing up for me, of course, is, is the new facility. We, we've had a lot of fun talking about our track and the problems that go on with connecting the track program without the track. <laughs> <laughs> this was a shirt. This is a shirt that the track team gave me a few years ago. It says, "Oh crumb." Where's the track? <laughs> and I'm so happy to show up tonight because we're finding out it's right out there. It's going to be there right away.
Huh? So I don't crack myself. No, it gives you a completely different purchase on that wall. Yeah, put a headband on it. Oh, okay. You got it? Yeah. Give me some. Give me some. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have to sit on the sidewalk this time. There you go, we're up. <laughs> nice observation, Ort. Yeah. Isn't that true? Yeah. <laughs> Another Laverne experience, huh? Definitely. You wound up uh, having one of the Orton Meyer experiences that they talk about. Well, definitely one of the reasons I took climbing was because of um, just gaining confidence. And I think that's something that Ort has a wonderful way of doing. Um, he doesn't make um, exceptions for anyone. He lets you go out and try your own thing. He doesn't push you. He lets you go at your own pace, and he makes it easy. It's easy. I can't believe I just went up there. It was really hard. Um, it wasn't as strenuous as I thought it would be. Um, it was really hard. It was really tough. I almost gave up in the middle, but I guess that's what this class is all about, is just to give up till the end. And once you achieve it, then you know that if you ever put in that position again, that you know that just keep at it and you'll make it. Just an excellent. These people all know how. Consequently, you're able to do it. Pirates, number 10, Brian Peterson.